It is important to start with high quality RNA. The use of degraded RNA can result in low yield or failure to generate libraries. We recommend determining RNA quality by using the RNA integrity number estimated by the Agilent Bioanalyzer. The sample should have a RIN number or RNA integrity number higher than 7. The integrity and size distribution of your total RNA can be checked by running a denaturing agarose gel and staining with ethidium bromide. For eukaryotic samples, intact total RNA will have sharp, clear bands corresponding to 28S and 18S. The 28S rRNA band should be approximately twice as intense as the 18S rRNA band. This 2 to 1 ratio is a good indication that the RNA is completely intact. Partially degraded RNA will have a smeared appearance, will lack the sharp rRNA bands, or will not exhibit the 2 to 1 ratio of high quality RNA. Completely degraded RNA will appear as a very low molecular weight smear. DNA digestion of the purifier RNA with RNA's free DNAs is recommended. RNA should be completely free of DNA. It is important to accurately quantify the RNA sample prior to library construction. The concentration can be estimated using an Agilent bioanalyzer under PICO or NanoShip. Alternatively, you can determine RNA concentration by measuring absorbance at 260 nanometers using a spectrophotometer such as a nanodrop. However, free nucleotides and other organic compounds that are routinely used to extract RNA will also absorb at 8 to 60 nanometers. This could result in an overestimation of RNA concentration.